So if you're having trouble setting up your Apple CarPlay to your car, I'm gonna go over some quick fixes and some troubleshooting to help you get your connection back. First things first, an easy solution and that will fix a lot of quick problems is just restarting your phone. Giving your phone and your car a restart should fix most glitches. You wanna make sure you have a proper cord. So your dollar store cord won't work. Use the cord that came with your phone or a solid cord. General rule of thumb, if it has this USB symbol right on the cord, it's gonna work. If you're still having trouble with your cord, you can troubleshoot. Maybe use a different cord or plug your cord into a different car and that will help you determine if it's the car or if it's your cord. Make sure you have a stable USB connection. You wanna hear that click every time you plug your cord in. If you're having issues still, when you plug your phone in, this could be a problem. You see here where it says, would you like to use Apple CarPlay with this device? And it says, don't ask anymore. If someone hit no and don't ask anymore, it's never gonna initiate the Apple CarPlay and you'll have to go into your car settings and select it every time you plug your phone in. But I like to have it ask me every time and then I make sure I hit yes so it automatically initiates Apple CarPlay. You also need to make sure Apple CarPlay is initiated on your phone. So if it got, uninitiated you need to go into your settings and you want to go to general you're gonna do this nice and slow and see where it says carplay and here you can see all the cars that are connected if you're having trouble connecting just click it and forget this car and reconnect here it'll say allow carplay while your phone is locked you want to have this on what this means is once your phone screen times out the apple carplay will still activate if your iPhone isn't detected, you wanna make sure your Apple CarPlay is not restricted from your phone's privacy settings. So how to do this, you're gonna go into your settings and you're gonna hit screen time and then you're gonna hit content and privacy restrictions. And then here it says allowed apps, hit allowed apps. First I have to turn it on, hit allowed apps. And then you want it to be able to do the CarPlay. So here it says CarPlay. So you wanna make sure that this is enabled so that you, it can automatically access your CarPlay. Lastly, you wanna make sure your phone's Bluetooth connection is compatible with the car. So make sure your phone is connected. Every car is different, but connecting your phone through Bluetooth is very easy. You just go into your Bluetooth settings and connect your car. And then you wanna make sure that Siri is enabled on your phone. Apple CarPlay uses Siri for the voice commands. So if you don't have Siri enabled on your phone, you wanna make sure you enable Siri right on your phone and here you can see i have it enabled in my settings so hopefully one of those solutions worked if it didn't work you want to troubleshoot and make sure the problem is with the car or with your phone but if we helped you guys solve your apple carplay give us a thumbs up in the video if you guys still haven't got it solved comment i'll be more than happy to help you best i can and we'll see you in the next cars unlocked tutorial